Hi everyone, it's Chelsea here, bringing you another segment of Living in Southwest Florida. So you've made the decision to move to Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Naples, or any of the other local communities here in Southwest Florida, and now you're thinking, now what? Well, today I'm gonna to go ahead and break down the eight easy steps that you can do to prepare for your move to Fort Myers or any of the other communities here. But before we jump in really quickly, I would really appreciate if you go ahead and hit that like button so that YouTube algorithms share this information with others and let me know what you'd like more of. And as a quick thank you, here is a picture of a cat cheering you on because we all need a little cheering sometimes. As always, we love helping people from all over the country buy and sell their homes here in Southwest Florida. So if you or anyone you know of are even thinking about moving, then feel free to use that contact information below. All right, let's jump right in. I'm sure you can guess the first one on our list, and that is to reach out and contact us. While this sounds like a shameless plug, which it kind of is, the fact is that talking to a realtor who is knowledgeable about the marketplace can help get you on the right path for success. And taking the first step to get that ball rolling can be hard, but at the end of the day, this is just scheduling a conversation and comes with no obligations. So feel free to send me that email, message, call, or text. All of our information is below because this is going to lead us into number two, which will be to have that more in-depth call. And that way we can connect on a deeper level and get you all the resources you need. I personally love video conferencing like Zoom or Facebook Messenger so that we can talk face-to-face -face and meet. It's non-intrusive and a very laid back way to meet in your own comfort no matter how close or far away you are. Certainly we can do a traditional call as well or go deep dive in person, whatever your comfort level is. This is an important call because it sets up the grounds for the rest of the process. This will be a time that we give the recommendations for others you may want to consult with, like a great lender, attorney, or tax professional. We can help with resource lists and vendors we have worked with that did a great job, give advice on things that you're going to need along the way, or create action steps to get you set up for success. For example, if you are financing a home, you may need contacts for lenders or information on what financial documents you need to set up to be prepared. If you need to sell your current home, then we can help by giving you advice on local home values or things that you may need done before putting it on the market. And if you aren't local, I am a certified relocation professional within the mobility industry and a part of a national network of top realtors. So oftentimes we can put you in touch with realtors in your own hometown as well. If you are beginning to even think about moving but aren't quite ready yet, we give advice so that you can become prepared. This is also the time we'll go over your wish list and determine things like neighborhoods to look at, budgets, criteria, and so forth. We'll also discuss what you need to be expecting to move forward and lay out a future game plan tailored to your specific needs. On to step three. Next, we will take a look at those conversational highlights and we'll build out a custom property search based on your wants and needs. This way we can stay on top of homes as they become available and discern which homes are in the best matches for you. There are all sorts of ways to search by square footage, bedroom counts, locations, if it's waterfront or if it has a pool. And once this is in, we can have it and send it to you all the available homes in real time. Our technology also has communication abilities so you can both keep the homes organized and give feedback on the houses you do or don't like. And this brings us on to step four. Simultaneous to starting the home search portal, we'll be having you speak with a lender to set up your financing should you need it. There are many home loan programs out there and it's really important to speak with a knowledgeable lender so that you have clarity on what programs may fit your needs. It's so important to discuss with the lender early on because they can help overcome any potential challenges and they can help set up a budget. Sometimes people hesitate because they're afraid their credit will be dinged, but this is actually a common misconception. Lending is a big commitment and credit bureaus realize that it will be something that'll get shopped around. So oftentimes you can speak to two or three lenders without any real changes to your score. I would caution talking to too many too early on, but to begin with a conversation with someone to get a feel for what your options you have is really important. Most of the time an initial conversation can only be a five to 10 minute call and the lender can ask key questions to get you started. 
Also, by starting the conversation with the lender prior to seeing homes, it will allow time to receive that pre-approval prior to getting any offers out. Inevitably, the house that you love is going to be the one that you see on a holiday weekend that has an hour to write an offer and it's best to be prepared than to be scrambling so that you have a real chance at the home of your dreams. Also, having this in hand makes your future offer stronger. Step five will be setting up your home tour dates. If you're already local or you plan on visiting the area, we can block out time to get together to tour properties. If you're currently out of town, we can leverage technology by live touring during a Zoom call, Duo, or Facebook Messenger so that you can get a feel for the area and the home. If you're out of town and planning to book a house hunting trip, be sure to get together so we can discuss your upcoming plans. We're always happy to provide travel contacts we have and itineraries for exploring the area. I also highly encourage that if possible, stay in an Airbnb in the area that you're considering for the ultimate immersion experience. Step six is negotiating your home. Once we found the right home for you, we will address any outstanding questions you may have and prepare a comparable market analysis to see what the recent statistics look like. Then we can craft an offer with the price and terms you choose. Sometimes this can take some back and forth with a seller to be sure we're in an agreement. And in these hot market conditions, sometimes this process has to be repeated until we found the right one. This may sound crunchy, but I believe that everything happens for a reason. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. Our own home was the ninth house that we made an offer on. And I am so glad that we lost the first eight because our house was my favorite of them all. Once we've got an executed agreement, which means everyone has signed off to the terms and acknowledged that we're all on the same page, then we're on to step seven, navigating contingency periods. There are certain points in a contract that protect an initial deposit. These are typically the inspection period and the loan contingencies, but there may be other inclusions for contingencies as well. Here in Florida, there are date lapsing contingencies, which means that if a contract says that you have 15 days to do inspections, then any requests and changes or cancellations have to be done by then. On day 16, it's now over with. This means that we have to be extra diligent when watching our calendar to be sure that we stay on top of those dates. Another thing to note about the area specific is about appraisal contingencies. Here in Florida, this isn't a separate condition, but rather it falls under the financing contingency. Sometimes buyers will write in that they're willing to bring cash differences if a home doesn't appraise, but it is automatically a part of a finance sale. And finally, step eight, getting you closed. Certainly there are a lot of smaller minutia that I haven't mentioned and can often look like a clock with multiple cogs all working simultaneously. And it can be a lot to navigate, especially while trying to move from a previous home and get packed and book movers and all the work. But this is why we're involved. Our job is to guide you through the actual process, handle those sometimes hard conversations, and ensure that the cogs are moving smoothly. This takes us off of your plate so that you can focus on the myriad of other life experiences and responsibilities you have going on. All right, friends, as I said before, there are a lot of balls in the air at once and all situations are going to be unique. So if you have any questions about the process or you're ready to take that first step, then feel free to reach out with the contact information below to get moving forward. Also, feel free to utilize CapeCoralFortMyersRealEstate.com as a resource to get comfortable with current market conditions and see the latest listings to hit the market. No obligations. Feel free to add me on social media and follow along as we post weekly articles and information that you may find handy, and it gives you life insights as to what life in Florida looks like. And as always, we really appreciate it when you leave us a comment, hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell, and then you'll be notified when we drop future videos that may help you with living in Southwest Florida. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I wish you much health and happiness.